Yemeni anti-government protesters are going strong following the defections of more than 300 members of the security forces. The move could pressure the country's leader to step down from power. More than 300 members of Yemen's security forces have defected, opposition sources said on Wednesday. This could bolster opponents demanding that President Ali Abdullah Saleh end his 33 years in power. Demonstrators gathered in the capital Sana'a to renew calls for Saleh to go. Opposition activists confirmed that they were working with United Nations human rights investigators who are in Sana'a on a mission to assess the situation in Yemen after months of unrest. We will continue to work with this committee and we will supply it with many files that show violations, whether killing people outside of the rule of law or the crimes that were well documented by media outlets, such as the Friday of Dignity, Wednesday, and the incident near the television building. What is happening in the provinces is being coordinated with the national committee that is visiting Adin, Taiz and Sana, those three districts. Finally, the committee has been convinced to include in its program a visit to Tagir Square. We have prepared all the files that show violations against human rights that took place during the Friday of Dignity, the events of Algeria Street and in all other events. We will submit a file of Salah's regime that violated all Yemeni people's rights, not just the people taking part in the revolution. We want the committee investigating these events to perform its job as it ought to and we are counting on it a lot. The defections come amid intensified military attacks by the Yemeni Air Force and ground troops on what the government says are Islamist militants affiliated with al-Qaeda in South Yemen. The defections would represent a major blow to Saleh, who has spent the past three weeks receiving medical treatment in Saudi Arabia after he was injured in an attack earlier this month. Yemen has been shaken by months of protest against Saleh's three-decade rule, a resurgent al-Qaeda and a separatist rebellion in the south.